Hi, I'm Sally Aldrin. I'm Luke Walsh. And I'm Sloan Allison. Welcome to Talk Story with the Villa Group. How we doing, guys? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. Nice. I don't think uh, Luke's, Luke's our new agent. Welcome to the team, my man. I uh, am. Thank you. Happy to have you. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, happy to be here to align myself with the best and uh, learn from the great. So, still making my way in this industry, but um, learned a lot and happy to join myself up with the best crew out there. That's right. Yeah. Sally, how are things? Things are going great. Um, very happy on the dream team. Welcome to the team. And yeah, it's been interesting seeing the market lately. I feel like things have kind of picked up this last week compared to last month. Yeah, with, with interest rates, they kind of dipped last Thursday. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of given an opportunity to buyers, especially with inventory starting to creep up here in the last month or so. Um, it's kind of become a more balanced market. Yeah. Luke, what's uh, what's going on with your buyers lately, man? What's, what's buyers? Like? I feel like buyers. Um, we have seen that shift from sellers' market to buyers. Prices are still, at least here on the island, are kind of still floating in the upper range. But buyers have a lot more leverage now than they did, you know, six months ago, even three months ago. Um, just due to the interest rates and now the influx of inventory starting to appear on the maps and in the market, we're seeing that leverage shift towards the buyers instead of battling multiple offers. They can come through with, you know, maybe a, an offer not at full price, have a few counter offers back and forth and a little bit more leverage towards their side. Yeah, there's definitely a lot less competition um, that I've been seeing on the buy side. So you've seen the same thing? Same, yeah. Except for bottom of the barrel, we're still seeing, for example, I was at a showing yesterday that um, over 100 people called to go see it yesterday. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That one, that one the line Pukulani, line. yeah, short sale for so 359 three, three, uh, wow. four bed, two bath, but it could be a tear down the insides completely. Well, that's a fire, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a builder special though, you know, the lot yep. seems, seems big enough and conducive to Totally. You know, multiple dwellings and yeah. mm -hmm. the um, property alone is worth three ninety eight. So just the land. That's great. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> how um how have you been tackling the higher interest rates? What's kind of been been the strategy there? Um, obviously the strategy is you kind of keep keep chipping away because you never know when that opportunity might arise. Um, even if you are a buyer and you're feel like you're sort of sitting on the sidelines, the right property might come up. And if the right property is priced right, it's going to go fast. So the buyers still need to keep their fingers on the pulse and keep their ear to the ground. And us as agents, that's our job to keep everyone informed. And with the higher interest rates, there's ways to sort of navigate the market. You know, there's different options from the 10 year arm loan as an option, um, as opposed to something like a 30 year fixed. 10 years is a long time. A lot is going to happen within those 10 years. We're going to see trends come and go. We're going to see interest rates rise and fall. And within those 10 years, you might get a new opportunity to refinance. And due to that arm loan, you might get a nice footing to get your foot in the door. Yeah, working with, with a, a lender that can kind of think outside the box and, mm -hmm. and help buyers kind of navigate the higher interest rate, I think, is, is critical right now. Which helps, especially here in Hawaii, depending on what the buyer is going for, um, having a local lender here on the island that knows the banks, knows the loan programs, whether it's a vacation rental or just a secondary home residence or a primary home residence. Um, there's a lot of great local lenders here that know how to navigate those waters. Very cool. Yeah. What about on the seller side? How are how are listings doing? It's it's hot or cold. Um, uh, as we said earlier, sometimes if the if the property is priced right, we're still seeing things go in the in the first couple of weeks. Yep. If sellers are reaching a bit higher, which they could have, you know, maybe twelve months ago, they still might strike some gold, and the property is exactly what someone's looking for. Or it's going to be that waiting game. You know, we're seeing the rise in inventory due to sellers kind of reaching for that higher number that they feel like they'd want to hit but buyers just aren't there to throw stuff at the wall and see if it sticks right now yeah same and 
working with sale sellers who are wanting to sell for what they could have last year and that train to ship a sale. Yeah, it's just, it's just, <laughs> yeah. A, it's just a different market. And, yeah. and, market and educating is kind of kind yeah. of our job. And yeah. um, which doesn't mean those sellers in this market will. Depending on when they bought, or you know, you still, yeah, you, still time, you still capitalize. They still capitalize. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They might, you know, as opposed, they're not going to get the feeding frenzy that they got eight or ten months ago to their property, but they're still going to see a nice increase from, you know, whether it's a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. They're seeing a nice capital gain. Well, single family, the prices are still up thirty percent mm -hmm. over last year, which. Yeah, you know, even inventory is a good bit lower than it was, but it's starting to creep. But still, thirty percent more than last year when yep. the market was the craziest it's ever been. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty incredible. I mean, I've still seen properties that sold last year, and yeah, have have you know been listed. They're back on. The, they're back on the market. They yeah. listed above that thirty <laughs> percent. Yeah. They're trying yeah, to sell yeah. for 40, 50, yeah, 60 yeah. percent higher than they bought just six, eight months ago, which. Well, those are sitting. So we're seeing some those, of those are sitting, and, those and that's some of the leverage buyers have now is that uh, you know they're not naive to to the trend, right. and they, it's not like they have their blinders on and noticing what a they're savvy. Yeah, yeah. So that which which is great for a buyer, and and they have more options, but also on the seller side, it just comes down to pricing. If it's priced right, it will sell because there's still a big pool of buyers waiting for that opportunity to get their toes in the water. Well, vacation rentals especially, um, you know, days on market for vacation rentals or for condos right now is only like four or 5% more than last year. Yeah. Whereas single family, it's 30% more. So that suggests that the vacation rental market is still extremely hot. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, there's always the talks of recession and the economy slowing down and everything that's been going on with the Fed rates, but the end of the day, Maui is yeah, still Maui. Yeah, demand for Maui still, always. Still, uh, still paradise. So those flights are still coming. Tourism is still booming, yeah. and uh, <laughs> that train is not slowing down, no matter uh, what interest rates are like. So very true. Yeah. Well, how uh, how have things been? You been in the water? Swell, swell's been up north, yes, northwest. Uh, life outside of the work life has been great. We're into December now. Um, had a great start of the winter for the ocean and surfing and it's been a good run. Uh, we just had a bunch of big north swells and light variable wind days on Maui, yeah. which is rare. And if you live on the North Shore, you can really appreciate <laughs> yeah. those. It's usually like nice. 40 knot winds most days. Uh, so we pride <laughs> our, our days when it's just like five knots. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Sally? What have you been doing outside of work? Uh, outside of work, um, my daughter is a sophomore now, and wow. she is starting her own club at her high school. So I've been helping her with that and trying to get in the water as much as possible. But I swear, like every time I go to the beach, it's just not. I either don't have my board, I'm going to another appointment, or. It's just not my time to get in the water that day. Too big for me. I like the small waves. Right. And a long water. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Um, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Great Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of good food, family time. I actually randomly had two Thanksgivings. That's good. Um, <laughs> My mom bought two turkeys. We didn't have enough people, so we just cooked one on Thanksgiving and screw it. Sunday <laughs> night, she threw the second one in and we did it all over again. Same preparation? Uh, uh, different preparation for the turkey. Go. There we go. But stuffing, mashed potatoes, the whole roundabout, right back to it. So it was a big, long turkey weekend. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And you? How was your Thanksgiving? It was good. Yeah? It was good. Yeah, I got to spend some time with my family. My my parents were here. Okay, um, there we go. Yeah, they got to, to see little man Ozzy. Yeah. Got his cast off today. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yes, he's back running around. <laughs> Dunking. Dunking. Just Dunking on you. Dunk. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, any big plans for the holidays coming up? Christmas? December? Be here working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah we I should. was going to try to do a Colorado trip with my daughter and see family, but... I think she's going to go by herself and I'll stay here and work. <laughs> we, we typically see the market heat up in December. Yeah. About a week into December, you know, people start arriving and 
Island kind of. The New Year plans. Christmas yeah. spirit. That's right. We should see some inventory come on the market at the beginning mm -hmm. of the year. Typically, that's what we see. And um, just let's capitalize on it. 